on today's installment of Home Projects. Today we're going to go over how to replace this lovely mess of nonsense with one of these. We're going to install a new retractable cord reel in the garage. Where is it going to go? All the way up there. Let's get started. All right, if you're in love with tangled up extension cords like I am and you want to get rid of them, uh, this is going to be a reasonable solution. I just went to the local uh, Lowe's and picked this off the shelf. It seemed to be relatively reliable and well-reviewed. So we're going to go ahead and get one of these installed up in our garage. Um, it's a 50-foot retractable cord reel. Um, I believe it has three outlets on it. Um, and it is, I believe, 15-amp rated. Uh, where is that? Yep, there it is. Uh, so 15 or 13 amps, sorry. Um, which is plenty for most of the things I'm going to be running around the shop. I have a shop vac over in the corner. I have a little garage heater that I run every once in a while. Occasional power tools, nothing too crazy. Um, let's see what's inside the box. We have a little set of instructions and the cord reel itself. Um, overall first impression, it seems to be of a pretty decent build quality. Um, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, this is the mounting plate that we have here. Ooh, it does have some good heft to it. Plastic seems to be pretty sturdy. Let's go ahead and get this thing mounted up in the corner there. One thing I found here in the bottom of the box, it does come with the bolts included. It looks like two little lag bolts. This should be pretty easy to install with an impact driver. Alrighty, so don't do what I did. Um, I assumed that this little box up here near the ceiling was actually a power outlet. It turns out it's not. Um, I'm not in the mood to be running new outlets right now. So what I had to do actually was go out back to the hardware store and got myself a short little cheater extension cord. Um, if you're going to grab a little extension cord like this uh, for something that has as much potential power going through it as this cord reel, just make sure you're getting one that's rated for the right thing. So before I get started with mounting this, I'm going to try and size this up. I'm going to take this plate off here, um, pull it up there. I'm going to get my ladder out, make some measurements, make sure I'm going to put this in the right spot um, before I start drilling holes and everything. Um, full disclosure, I'm not too worried about exact measurements and, and you know whether or not I'm perfectly in between the two garage doors. Um, for my purposes, once again, I'm happy with just kind of ballparking it for this application. It's just me in my garage. Um, I'm going to make it look nice, but once again, if if you're into you know finally measuring something, um, I'm not going to be doing that for this case. But you can just as well measure it yourself if that's what you'd like to do. Alrighty, um, I made my two rough measurements there. Um, I'm gonna pre-drill these because I'm kind of close to the ends of the wood on there. I don't want to risk splitting them by just blindly drilling in with the lag bolts. So we'll get this, uh, we'll get these pre-drilled and we'll get started. Alrighty, so to pre-drill, uh, what I'm gonna use here, uh, I'm just have a regular Milwaukee drill. I have a 1 8 inch bit on here. The threads are only about yay long. So I'm just gonna use just pretty much the tip of this bit. You don't have to go too far on these guys. The uh, screws or bolts that we're using that came with it have a 7 16 inch head on them. So I have a 7 16 drive for my impact driver. Alrighty, so I have a 1 8 inch uh, drill bit here. It may be a little bit on the small side for these big screws, uh, but something is better than nothing in this instance. For the uh, wood 
foot screws here. This is a uh, 17 or 7 16 drive for the bolt. There you have it. Looks like we're all set up. One other thing that I forgot to go over with you before I got ahead of myself and put the mount up is the way that these uh, are affixed to the handle here. Um, these are actually threaded quite nicely. Um, so all you have to do is just line up the mount with the handle and these just slide right in. And that's then how it will stay up. We have plenty of clearance here between the planks up top. Just make sure these are snug. All right, there it is easy install. It's out of the way of either garage door. All right. So then if all goes well, this should pull out until you hear a click. That means it's locked in place and then it tracks itself right back up. It's great. There you go. This is what it looks like now fully installed here. Let me get my camera out of the mount. All right, so here's where we're at. We have that nice and installed up top. I'll bring in for a close up. So this is hanging slight, slightly above my head height, which I'm very much okay with. Um, this stopper here is actually adjustable um, and I can show you how to do that here in just a minute. But there are screws in here that you can actually remove um, and uh, slide this up and down. So if you want more of this to be out of the reel, you could do that. That's not too difficult to do. Um, mailing it to here, it clicks, stops clicking, and it withdraws itself right back into the reel. It's perfect. Last piece of the puzzle here. Um, this is the plug, or the, yeah, the plug. Um, but my outlet's down here. Um, so that's what I have this little cheater cable for. Um, I kind of got one that was a little oversized on the wire gauge for this. Um, I didn't want to be, didn't want to have enough cable. So, all right, let's figure out how to put this up here. So I think to clean that up, I'm going to throw some zip ties up there real fast um, and see how we make out. Okay, I'm back. Um, I did a little bit of cable management. Um, so here's my outlet. I ran this cable up. Um, all I did was put a screw with a washer on it. Um, I just lightly stuck it in here. Um, it is fairly loose, um, but this washer is big enough that it's gonna prevent this, uh, like I said, this little extension cord from popping out from behind it. So that way I can just leave that there. I can get it and take it down if I need to. Um, no big deal there. That's pretty, pretty straightforward. I just screwed it into the two by four. Um, this does look like a little bit of a rat's nest and that's because it is. Um, I put a zip tie up there. I'm gonna trim that end off, clean it up a little bit. Uh, I will probably revisit this later. Um, like I said, I may end up installing, just installing an outlet up there just to not have to worry about it anymore. Um, but overall, this looks great. I'm really proud with how it came out. Um, you know, even with shooting this video, it took, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes to do. You know, don't be afraid of these kind of projects, guys. I mean, this is stuff that you can do yourself. All you need is some basic tools and a, you know, a step ladder. And, uh, you know, you can add a cord reel to your garage. It's great. It's easy. It's handy. Um, you know, I'll walk over here and show you what it looks like from the, from afar. Um, you know, it's relatively clean and it's just, it's, it's just nice to have, you know. And then you can start moving away from stuff like this where you end up having extension cords either laying on the floor or strung up all over your walls. Why do that when you can just have one tidy little cord reel? All right, well, if this was helpful for you, you know, please uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it, it really helps me out. 
Um, you know, if you like seeing stuff like this, let me know. You know, this is my first home, so I'm really trying to update things and, you know, get my workspace put together here. This will be in another video. I have a lot to organize, have a lot of parts, you know, a lot of stuff laying around on my floor. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. You know, please comment. I, you know, I appreciate everybody's feedback and uh, hope you have a good year. Also, in case anybody was curious, this is a 50-foot cord, um, like I mentioned earlier. I have a maybe a little bit slightly larger than average, you know, two-car garage. So I'll just give you a quick, you know, visual of how far this reaches over my big pile of trash. And there's still plenty to spare over there, you can see, but I can hit my entire workbench real easy. The next up though is I gotta install this big bad boy. Problem is, is once again, I don't have any outlets. So there are no outlets on this wall. So we'll have to figure that one out. All right, thanks for watching.